Aloha, I'm Mia Shark, queen of CBD. I launched my digital course and made $50,000 in only two weeks. I'm a member of Digital Course Secrets. All right guys, what is up? Welcome back to another exciting video. In today's video, we are gonna be interviewing the one and only Shark, uh, Miss Mia Shark, um, all the way out from Hawaii. She flew to my house with two other members of the Digital Course Secrets Beta to talk about how she went um, from, you know, not as much to a lot, uh, from making now over $175,000 in the last 30 days, and I know that's probably hard to conceptualize, but we're gonna be breaking it down step by step by step in this video for you guys so you can understand kind of the process, right? Because nobody makes it overnight. Um, it's always kind of a sequential process. It starts with one thing, you kind of find success with it, you find your groove, and all of a sudden your momentum builds to the point where you know you really reach that point where you kind of get the exponential payoff for all the incremental daily actions you've been taking. So we, as always, are going to prove this really quick and then we're gonna jump into the interview because I know there's a lot of fake stuff out there on the internet. So I'm gonna jump into Mia's screen really quick and she's gonna show you guys um, all of the proof about her numbers and then we'll jump in and we'll show you how you can replicate that same success for yourself. So let's go. All right, in my computer. Okay, so restricted industries, guys. So we got a couple different accounts and that's the way you gotta do. Um, so the first one is my ship station here. Um, let's scroll down a little bit so you know I ain't faking this and let's play around a little bit. Let's, uh, let's choose a custom um, date. Let's do custom range. Let's say maybe since January 1st, because, you know, new year, apply. There we go. Boom. There we go. Okay. 471,000 in the last 90 days, guys. Woo! Okay, that's awesome. Um, but of course, restricted industries, we're going to actually hop into my bank account and check this out. All right, well, we're gonna blur out some of this so you guys aren't seeing my bank details. But here we go. 12,000, 6,000, 3,000, right? A lot of different deposits. That's how it goes when you are um, doing what Mia is doing. So obviously a ton of money made um, in the month of April, um, like we said, and there's one more even, right? Yeah, there's one more. <laughs> we got this stripe too. All right, so these are some Stripe transactions. Again, we're going to definitely be blurring this out, but. 997, 1997, 1997, 1997, 997, right? 1997. Lots of different numbers, guys. And again, yeah. obviously, we're not showing you screenshots. You see it all scrolling around. So you know that this interview is about to be fire because she is obviously absolutely killing it. So, Mia, give us a, you know, one minute, 30 second kind of uh, background story about how you made it to this point. So, uh, 30 seconds is like, like a tall order. <laughs> we got to go over like 12 years here. Um, so I started in digital marketing 12 years ago and I was doing high ticket for about nine of those years. And then I jumped into software with Mr. Alex Becker, um, where we knocked out a wicked software platform that was acquired in April of last year. And then I thought I was going to retire. And after traveling the world for like a month or two, I got bored of, you know, just doing nothing, not having a goal. And that's when I found Kevin and he really motivated me. I, I got into Amazon FBA, um, which didn't actually end up working out for me, uh, which was okay because it led me to where I am now. Uh, I found CBD and CBD was like uber trending and, and it had really helped me personally. Um, and it had actually saved the life of my dog. So it was really special to me and uh, I saw a crazy niche there and I wanted to share that gift of uh, a natural alternative with the world and so I dove into um, marketing um, CBD using Shopify and actually representing somebody else's brand to start and then I got in and private labeled my own brand which was followed by success right. and it was really cool but then I realized that I actually struggled so hard because I didn't have the resources available to me because it's such a new emerging industry that I needed to create those resources to be able to help the industry grow in um, a good positive way. Right. And that's when I got into Digital Course Secrets. Right, yeah, so so let's break it down. For, well, actually, first of all, it, CBD saved your dog. Yeah. What, is that, what does that mean exactly? Um, so my dog Caliber was suffering from um, seizures and I didn't want to put him on phenobarbital, uh, which is the pharmaceutical that he would have to be on because it would like cut his life in half right. and like I love him so I didn't want that for him. Right. Um, and so I researched natural alternatives and I found CBD and when I gave him CBD, he improved like dramatically and I was like, 
awesome. And then I tried it. <laughs> yeah, no, so I mean, I like, so, and that's also, that's funny because your first company, so all of this kind of started a year ago. We're going to break it down really chronologically, kind of how she got to 175K per month, because I know that seems crazy um, if you're watching right now, um, but I promise you it is possible. We're going to break it down exactly um, how she did that. So Caliber is the name of your dog. And I just made that connection because your first business that started all this was Caliber Health. Yeah. Right. So Caliber Health <laughs> um, was kind of the beginning of this particular journey, right? Mm -hmm. So what exactly is that? Like literally, how did you sell those products? Like to, to how did you advertise? Tell us like the kind of breakdown. Yeah, so it was a real challenge at first. Um, I struggled finding a good supplier. Um, and then once I found one, I created a Shopify site and I put it up and I launched it and I was like, oh, just sitting there at my computer waiting for the, you know, <laughs> sales to roll in. Yeah, of course. And I like sat there for like days, like sleeping on my computer. I'm like, a sale? No. <laughs> like, okay, <laughs> <laughs> I guess I need to do something else. Yeah. And um, so I tried um, influencer marketing. So I did some uh, Instagram stuff. I tried doing a Facebook group, which was uh, a little successful. Um, I tried doing a Facebook ads, got my Facebook ad account shut down on numerous occasions. Yeah. Uh, got which my, is important, right? We're going to talk about that in a second. Yeah. Um, got my PayPal account shut down too. Um, so I got put in PayPal jail. And we exa why exactly? Uh, Just because they don't allow the sale of CBD? CBD, or yeah, it's considered to be high risk. And so you need a high risk merchant process. Processor, um, which was challenging to get at the time and uh, I finally was able to get a high-risk merchant processor um, but that really challenged me in the way that um, I launched my store with this thing called eCheck right do you even know what eCheck is no most people don't know what eCheck is because nobody uses it is it Canadian thing no, no. it's like international me is Canadian so you know I'm she's Canadian. she's strange <laughs> I'm awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Um, so yeah, we started with eCheck and even like the God himself of Ecom over here doesn't really know what eCheck is. And so how are my customers supposed to know what eCheck is? So that was a super huge barrier to entry and I didn't have any background in like processing or anything like that because it was just starting up. Right. And so it was a real big challenge to get payment processing. So I had to start with this thing called eCheck and it left my cart abandonment rates at like, uh, like 97%. And so that led me to, okay, I need a really good cart abandonment process. Right. And so, yeah, it was really challenging to get it off of the ground, but, um, eventually I was able to do that using, um, a couple of Facebook, um, ad hacks that I had developed. Um, and, I got from zero dollars in sales a day to one thousand dollars in sales per day um, in about thirty days. Nice. So yeah, that was really That's amazing. Cool. So people who are watching right now, right, most of you have probably heard about CBD, right? I've heard about CBD. I don't, I don't know much about it, but it's kind of like difficult to not hear about it, at least like you know through passing, mm -hmm. unless you're like living in a cave. So um, <laughs> where are you literally finding these products to sell, and what's the primary traffic source to bring them to your store to buy? Yeah. Okay. So. The challenge with products are uh, right now is that there's a very huge differentiation in the actual quality of products. Right. Um, you can't just go to AliExpress and type no, in CBD. No, exactly. So yeah. they're all manufactured in the United States of America. Um, I personally like going with um, Colorado because Colorado is the flagship state for both hemp and cannabis in general. Right. Um, so there's a lot more regulations there and the products that come from Colorado tend to be higher quality. So I've actually gone and sourced I've probably spent, I would say, at least $5,000 on sample products from all over to find the different suppliers. And break it down for us. Like, are you literally Google searching CBD suppliers, Colorado? <laughs> um, yes. But once you get into the industry, um, you, you meet people, you, and... you meet people. And I've actually created one of the biggest groups for, um, resources for restricted industries is what it's called. Um, and that's like a hub to find anything and everything CBD. A so Facebook group. yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. So. so then people who are starting out, like you'd recommend that they just go on Google, right? If they don't have connections yet, they just go on Google. They type in CBD manufacturer, Colorado, and kind of just start contacting people? Yeah, CBD manufacturer um, in general, uh, USA is a pretty good search. Um, and then go down and go through the list of different suppliers that are coming up. Um, I would obviously also recommend uh, jumping into resources for restricted industries on Facebook because that's actually where I've curated everybody that I know. And so if I know them, then you know they're probably good. <laughs> so it's a good place to start. And it's not just Shopify, it's in it, which is an important point. We mm -hmm. I have a number of Amazon students who sell CBD-related products 
products and it's kind of a gray area on Amazon right now. Like they, there is not really like a um, clear uh, statement from Amazon regarding all of the different kind of nuances of CBD, whether it has THC, not like if it's a hemp related product, whatever. But the thing is, right, there's a lot of different products. So like you might be confused if you want to start selling CBD, if you're interested, if CBD has helped you or, you know, marijuana in some way, um, what in your opinion is the best product to get started? Like what's the best seller that people should focus their time on actually being able to sell people for CBD? Um, there's a lot of different products. I would focus on the trending products, the trending products at this current moment, uh, which is late April, 2019, um, oil tinctures, hands down huge. Um, like for anxiety, for stress, for anxiety, for stress, for pain management. But also another big thing too, that you guys need to know is you cannot make claims. So Kevin actually just made a claim and I'm just like, huh, ah. <laughs> so you can, um, CBD helps with uh, okay. Yeah. I see. So you have to be very careful of your wording and not make claims. Right. Um, and that's something that you need to be very aware of because the FDA is coming down on that pretty hard right now. So that was kind of step one, right? Step two is you transitioned. And the reason that, you know, you joined uh, digital course secrets was because you wanted to start helping other people duplicate the success you had with CBD and with creating, you know, CBD related businesses, mm -hmm. right? So like, let's talk about kind of that journey, um, in, in joining DCS, like what you kind of learned, how your launch went like where you kind of saw the biggest wins give us like the kind of uh, step by step playbook of how you went from you know basically no knowledge ever creating digital courses is that right yeah yeah to having a, a incredibly successful launch yeah um so it actually all started um during my journey through CBD, growing my own CBD company was very, very, very challenging because there was no resources for me. Yeah. This is brand new, emerging, and so I struggled and it took me a lot of time. I literally spent- Yeah, I watched you. Yeah, months after months, like struggling through this and failing so hard. And then I began to succeed and began to help others. Um, I opened a marketing agency, but with the marketing agency, there's a glass ceiling as to how many people I can help. And so I really wanted to help more people. And that's when I started resources for restricted industries. Right. And I didn't actually know at that point that I was going to get into digital courses or into um, masterminds or anything like that. I just wanted somebody to have a place to go so they didn't have to go through what I was going through. And then I got into Digital Course Secrets with you and I really appreciate you letting me into the beta. I had to beg him to let me into the beta. <laughs> we only wanted to let a hundred people in, but somehow a hundred and like 40 people ended up getting in. Yeah. But Mia's very uh, persistent. Mm, that's an understatement. Um, so this is a really interesting point, right? This is a, probably the most important point of the entire video. Mia, even not necessarily knowingly, identified a gap and problem with the market, right? Which was twofold. Number one, and probably a little bit less importantly, but still very important, was there wasn't any resources for people who, you know, had a passion. Like, like Mia said, it saved her dog's life, right? Like, it's very important. Like, it's giving me goosebumps thinking about that because people have, you know, these love relationships with their animals, obviously, and she wanted to save it at her dog, and she was able to with a natural um, method instead of, you know, cutting its life in half with a pharmaceutical drug. So there was no resources to build that. But secondly, right, let's talk about the marketing aspect, right? Because I think that's one of kind of the linchpins of of your uh, digital course product, mm -hmm. which was um, advertising, you know, uh, hemp related, CBD related uh, products on the main advertising giants, you know, Facebook and Google is a somewhat of a nightmare, right? And oh, so kind of the, yeah. the identif or the problem that you identified in the market that people needed help with was they were, they were running these, you know, six figure, seven figure, eight figure and beyond businesses in CBD, but they weren't able to really expand the way they wanted to because they were getting shut down by Facebook and Google. Yeah, exactly. That was actually one of the biggest challenges I went through and the pretty much the single challenge that um, my larger clients came to me with in my marketing agency. Um, and that's the one problem that I was able to solve. Uh, and so, so what I had done was throughout the journey of growing my own CBD company, I had been playing with Facebook ads and um, playing with different methods uh, and, and marketing techniques. And what I did was I actually came up with a blueprint um, that worked. Uh, and so what it consisted of was driving traffic via Facebook ads and bridge pages over to my opt-in page, capturing their email and capturing the lead. And you had to be careful about what those opt-in pages said. That's, I'm Very sure. much so, yeah. So on your ads, you can't really um, advertise CBD at all. You can't uh, use the, the letter CBD. Yeah, like. yeah. You cannot use the CBD or cannabis or hemp or 
And she did a clever thing, which uh, was not, was I can't take credit for, unfortunately. I wish I could. <laughs> but instead of typing literally the letters C, B, D. <laughs> you going to share it? She, uh, oh, did something, go, she did something clever, right? Instead of the B, she used a literal bumblebee emoji that said C and a bumblebee D. And so people read it in their heads as if it's that, but it doesn't flag the actual acronym, which is a, a perfect example of how to become successful, you have to think outside the box, yeah. right? So let's jump into the actual launch strategy, right? Because you had kind of a, a um, atypical launch, in my opinion, um, where you did it entirely organically, mm -hmm. right? Like you haven't run a single paid. No. Yeah. So she hasn't run a single paid ad to her launch. And what, what were the final numbers, including like everything masterminds, uh, you know, everything during the launch for your course? Um, that's a really good question. At this point, um, we're at, I think, 52,000. Um, and then uh, we're hoping to close three masterminds this week. Um, and so that would put us at over 125,000 in the first month. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> right. And that's with her digital course. And the beautiful part about digital courses is they grow and they expand, right? There's nothing like a digital course where there's no upfront cost and there's basically an infinite ceiling. Yeah. You can put a dollar towards your digital course and you can get $2 back, right? You put a dollar towards ads, you get $2 back if you know what you're doing. And that's, that's something that people are able to do every single day, which is why digital courses are such an incredible opportunity. Look at what people are doing. What is Tony Robbins doing? What is Dean Graciosi doing? What is Grant Cardone doing? They're selling digital courses, right? Like, uh, you know, I'm trying to be a transparent marketer and, and show you guys that if you have a skill set, if you're tired of dealing with an agency, if you're tired, tired of dealing with, you know, working a hundred hours a week without being able to scale your actual, you know, agency, your service-based business, whatever you have a skill in, a digital course is a way that you can automate that and actually live your life and enjoy yourself and have time to, to you know, be happy and go to the beach and live in Hawaii and be a shark. So, um, <laughs> so tell us the actual launch strategy that you use because you use, a, 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 again, a sort of atypical launch strategy. So take us through kind of the step-by-step -step of how you were able to get um, people um, interested in what you had to say, and then obviously be able to provide them such a massive value um, for their investment. Yeah. So actually my launch strategy began before I even knew that I was going to be doing a course. Uh, it began in, I guess, uh, December, uh, early December of 2018, when I wrote a book um, called, uh, Secrets to Marketing in Restricted Industries. Uh, and I published that book um, with an email sequence and a bot sequence um, using a very similar model actually to what I used to grow my CBD company. Yeah. And that got people into my email list, into my bot list. Um, it gave them a ton of free information. So um, can I plug my book? Yeah, of course. <laughs> if you don't have Secrets to Marketing in Restricted Industries, go to sharklifemedia.com and download that. <laughs> yeah, cut that out, editor. <laughs> 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 um, so anyways, uh, people started downloading my book and I started to grow my email list and my bot list, um, and my SMS list. And yeah. then my Facebook group, uh, automatically started growing exponentially as well. And, um, at that point I was like, okay, there's something here. Like people want this information. Right. And so I re-released it at uh, funnel hackers live and, um, it was now the uncensored version and I gave away so much information. So people got to know what I'm actually doing. And like, I mean, I share screenshots of my metrics and stuff like that showing right. and proving the results that I'm getting. Um, and I tell people to hack my bot and to hack my email sequence because it works. Yeah. Um, and so at that point I was growing an, a, or an, an organic community around me because I'm providing the solutions to the problems that they're suffering from. And, uh, naturally people, People gravitated towards me. I did um, a lot of Facebook lives. I let people into my life um, and I taught a lot, uh, give a lot of information away for free. And as we were getting ready to launch, um, we had a uh, partner come in in a very similar space um, with a really large audience, uh, 375,000 people in their bot and then 1 million in a Facebook group. And so we collectively uh, came together and um, launched the beta program, um, which was early April. And right. that did absolutely amazing. Um, it just killed it. And then just on the weekend, we launched the actual course. Um, and we did actually two courses. So we're doing CBD A to Z and marketing uncensored because there was just too much information to put into one course 
and you can't overwhelm people. Like right. that's so, so important. And it's a really important point too that, you know, Mia basically took a concept, she got proof of uh, proof of concept, right? With, with success with her CBD company, and then she decided to expand to the next level. And the beautiful thing about a digital course is really no matter what you charge for it, you know, within reason, as long as it's not a billion dollars, within reason, if whatever you charge for it, even if the person who buys it finds one good marketing tip, yeah. right? It can be worth it in an instant because if they've been having struggling, they've been struggling with getting their ad accounts shut down, they can't get paid traffic started, right? One tip that actually works makes the course price instantly worth it. And Absolutely. so that's one of the beautiful parts about digital courses. So I don't wanna take up too much of your time. So let's um, give the people one kind of final thing that you would tell people who have a skill or they have an agency because the thing that I get number one, right? The num one, number one most po uh, popular thing that I hear from people is, Kevin, you know, I'd love to start a digital course, but I'm not an expert at anything, mm -hmm. right? What would you say to those people? It's very easy actually to become an expert. Uh, just dedicate yourself to something that you're very passionate about and build a value ladder around it to be able to provide people with the information that you know. And even and for free at first. Yeah, it's a, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Get them in for free, test the concept, and if it starts to fly, run with it and never give up. That's, you know, you're gonna come across some challenges throughout life in general and throughout your career. But the thing, the difference between those who succeed and those who don't is the people who succeed are the people that never gave up. And so I think that that's the number one piece of, piece of advice that I could give everyone. Absolutely. So Mia is just now starting her YouTube, um, you know, of my advice. So if you guys wanna find her, you just have to search Mia Shark into the YouTube search bar. Um, and if you guys are interested in learning more about digital courses, check out this video right here where I interviewed another one of my digital course secret students, Ernest Epps, who has made over $230,000 in 90 days. Oh yeah, and he is a father of four, so he has a lot of responsibility. Check out the video, guys. Thank you again, Mia, and we'll see you soon. As Kevin said, we're gonna jump to some proof real quick. And again, uh, you know, this is, uh, so for me personally, right, 